good? Rip tar. <laughs> really, can I ask a question? In a, in a thousand years, that star will still be on the street. And uh, do you think your, do you, what do you think about that? Do you think your music will, will uh, people will relate to your music in a thousand years? Well, I hope I'm around to, you know, remind them to do that. <laughs> Maybe I'll be down there playing on the side. <laughs> First of all, we want to recognize all the people who have made this responsible this evening. And a big hand to Al Resson and the Super Swing Review for the work that they've done putting this together. Miller Light Beer, they're one of the ones, and all, we all know about that. Tim O'Connor at the Austin Opry House, the Driscoll Hotel. And don't forget our two radio stations who've helped put this together and make it a success, KVAT and Case, as well as Z102. And then, of course, the jeans that you'll see Willie wearing, Wrangler jeans, who helped put this together and make it a big part of what we've got here this evening. Two things that are important for you to know as we go through this ceremony simply because it's important for this city and what's getting ready to happen to us. This whole street, all the way down to Interstate 35 and all the way back, someday, years from now, will have names alongside those of Willie Nelson up and down the avenue as you walk down 6th Street and coming back. It is to be a significant accomplishment for this city that will mean a lot in terms of the 6th Street District, a lot in terms of music for Austin and music for Texas, and a lot in terms for tourism is what's going to happen here. It'll be like the Hollywood Walk of Stars if you've been to Hollywood and it's starting tonight and you're a part of that history being made. 20 years from now, people will look back and count those stars that started this evening with Willie Nelson. This Sixth Street is important to the area, it's important for music, and tonight we're here to honor that. And there's no one in this city who has been a supporter of Austin music more than our own mayor. Would you please welcome Frank Cooksey as backing this position, this progress, and this project. Frank Cooksey. How you doing, folks? That's enough. One of the things that we are doing in Austin right now is promoting the development of a music district. This music district is going to be located somewhere in this general area in the block. I'm going over to Nashville to the U.S. Conference of Mayors meeting in about two weeks. And I'm going to talk to Joe Meadows, who's the head of the Country Music Association of America, and we're gonna see what they did in Nashville, and we're gonna come back here and we're gonna do it even better right here in Austin, Texas. You know, that's, that's what Willie did. He went to Nashville, he kinda liked it better here in Austin, Texas, and he came back here and did it his own way, and that's, why we're, that's the way we're gonna do it. You know, uh, this, this is the first of many stars that we're gonna put in the sidewalks down here honoring famous Texans. And I can't think of anybody that epitomizes Texas and the spirit of Texas and the spirit of Austin better than Willie Nelson. Yeah. Willie is somebody who's not only performed in Austin, Texas and lived in Austin, Texas, but he has given to Austin, Texas, throughout the years, given of himself to this city. And we love Willie Nelson. The city council joins me in this occasion, and I'm gonna read a little proclamation here that's from the city of Austin. And honoring this occasion from all the citizens of Austin, 
and the city council and the mayor. Whereas the musical contributions of Texans are known worldwide as being among the finest, and these contributions span the mus musical genres of rock, western swing, country, jazz, blues, rhythm and blues, the hano, and various other styles. And whereas these styles are exemplified by the musical talents of Willie Nelson, Timbuktu, Joe King Carrasco, Jerry Jeff Falker, Asleep at the Wheel, Eric Johnson, Joe Ely, Stevie Ray Vaughan, Ruben Ramos, and others. And where these entertainers all live in Austin, and, and along with their compatriots, comprise the internationally known Austin music industry, which contributes significantly to the economic well-being of Central Texas, that's you and me. And whereas Texas Walk of the Stars on Sixth Creek will celebrate the legends of Texas' brightest stars, starting with the favorite son, Willie Nelson, celebrating himself the 10-year anniversary of his Austin Opry House. Now, therefore, I, Frank C. Cooksey, mayor of the city of Austin, Texas, do hereby proclaim Friday, June 5th, 1987 has Texas Walk of the Star Day. Oh, all right. In Austin, Texas, and call on all citizens that you and me to join in honoring the brightest stars of Texas music scene during the celebration of Texas Walk of the Stars on 6th Street. That's this place. And to pay a special tribute to its first honoree. Willie Nelson! All right. Give him hell, Mayor. Head away to that. <laughs> you know, for a long time, it, it, a lot of folks in this city did not recognize the contributions that Texas music and Austin music made to this city. But the Chamber of Commerce, not many years ago, sat back and took a look and said, this is important, it's something we want to support. And it was a, at that time occurred under the leadership of the current president for 20 more days of the Austin Chamber of Commerce, Lee Cook. Would you please welcome the chamber who is a sponsor of this event tonight, its president, Lee Cook. Everybody happy out there? Is this Austin? All right. I want to say that we are delighted to see this kind of crowd come out for this symbolic occasion to start really the first star in Austin. This walk of stars is gonna be, we think, probably one of the most exciting tourist attractions for all of us. And that means, I think, a great day for the future of music in Austin, Texas. How many people would like to see this particular music scene grow and prosper? I can't hear you out there. How many of you would like to see it grow? Over a hundred million dollars comes into this city today. We don't want it to go to Nashville, do we? We don't want it to go to LA either, do we? Or New York. I talked to Michael Murphy recently in Taos, New Mexico, and he said that in 1972 when Willie came here, he was a lot like a lot of the entertainers that are in Austin today, struggling and scratching to make it work. Today, what we're doing is honoring Willie Nelson, the star, the person that has help pull people like ZZ Top and the fabulous Thunderbirds and Jerry Jeff Walker and Christopher Cross and all the musicians that are making a go of it today in Austin, Texas. And that's what it's all about. And I want to thank each one of you, those up on the booths, everywhere in, around here, for coming out tonight to make this work. We're proud of Austin music. And we're going to create an Austin music district up and down this street. We've got 20 clubs on this street, 100 clubs in the city. David Graber. David is an architect who is a member of the Sixth Street Conservation Society that has set this event up and set it up uh, and run the event throughout this evening. 
came up with the concept of the stars on 6th Street. David Graeber, as a representative of that society, is there to unveil the star. Over this far. Thank you. 